My colleagues from the security group uh, has asked me to talk about uh, cybersecurity for this technical pill. Well, uh, the name is pretty descriptive, isn't it? Uh, this is security designed to protect computer equipment, networks and data itself. This is why we say cyber, meaning related to computer science, and security. Which kind of cyber securities uh, do we have? Well, we have network security, that is uh, protecting from the intruders, uh, application security that keeps software and devices free from threats, information security uh, that protects the integrity and the privacy of the data, operational security uh, that determines which users are able to, to access uh, which data, uh, the start of recovery and business continuity define how to an organization responds to a, to a cybersecurity threat. And finally, uh, the user training focuses on providing tools and knowledge to the users, since we are the weakest link in the chain. Uh, so, which are the sources of threat? Well, as I just mentioned, the, the users themselves are the source of most security problems. So it's important that uh, we are well educated. We also have the, the malware that is uh, software specifically created to harm the system or to use our resources or steal, stealing our data. Uh, we have uh, programming errors in the, in the software that we are using or in our operating system that may imply a vulnerability. We have intruders uh, who are people who gain access to resources uh, to which they are not authorized. Disasters, mishandling or a disaster such as theft, fire, flu, uh, may result in loss of material or information. And finally, sometimes the internal technical staff themselves are the origin of the threat due to some kind of problem with the organization or any other interest they may have. So, how do we protect ourselves? Which are the good practices? Well, we have to update our software and operating system, applying always the last uh, security patches, so we will be, we will be good, uh, properly protected. We have to use uh, antivirus and anti-malware, so uh, we are protected from, from any attack uh, using, using malicious software. Uh, we have to use secure passwords. It must be easy to remember, but uh, difficult to, to guess or to decipher. Uh, we have uh, to be very careful with uh, attachments and links in any mail that we receive. Uh, imagine that, uh, of course, if you don't uh, know the sender, don't open those, uh, those attachments or those links. But uh, maybe you know him or her, but the thing is that the mail is strange. Maybe it's in another language or it's about a topic you never discussed before. So be cautious with these uh, emails. In case you have any doubt, and you just have to write back uh, him or her without including the attachment or the link, asking if uh, they really sent that, uh, that mail to you. And last, uh, we have to be very cautious with uh, uh, open uh, Wi-Fi's. The thing is that we will be sending our data through them. So they could be performing a man-in-the-middle attack, they could be uh, uh, acting in behalf of us uh, on the internet in somewhere else or they could be presenting us uh, fake data like a rogue bank website and we will be logging there so we have to be very cautious and it's better not to use these uh, open wi-fi's i hope you enjoyed the talk i know it was high level but in case you have any uh, question or comment please reach us my security colleagues will be pleased to answer any question you have.